Battle Hero Steadies. Former winner of this race. There they go. Indian Pacific flew out of the boxes. Also quickly away is Misty Metal pushing up Caracapo, but Indian Pacific is going to lead them comfortably. Battle Hero up running fourth, settling into stride. Samas Dad drifting back, being followed then by Why Choose Her, who's out there a little wider, going around the outside from Don't Fuss, and then it's Stablemate last essential spice. At the 600, Parnham controlling proceedings in the scorcher. It's the hot pot that leads the way. Indian Pacific Caracapo trying to stick with it. They've broken two in front of Misty Metal. A length and a half battle hero. Samazdat why choose her? Don't fuss and last essential spice. Into the straight at the 350. The favourite kicks away from Caracapo. Indian Pacific rail beautifully. Kicks two and a half, three in front. Caracapo Misty Metal followed by why choose her? Samazdat down on the inside. Indian Pacific getting a little tired late. The post is coming. Caracapo why choose her? Comes late with the finish but they won't get to the favourite. Scrambled across the line. India Pacific from Why Choose Her, who really attacked the line strongly. Not sure about third. A photo here between Caracapo, Misty Metal, Samas Datna Group, Essential Spice, Battle Hero next in, and back with those Don't Fuss amongst the last of them home in the Summer Scorcher. Well, no real shocks about the result. Very good run in defeat, though, by Why Choose Her coming at Indian Pacific in the final stages there. He was starting to just feel the pinch at the back end of the thousand at his first run since the winter bottom. The margin is clear. Why choose her, though, after being parked wide in the back half has peeled off an outstanding finishing run in defeat. Caracapo gets the nod for third in front of Essential Spice, actually, in a group of horses wide out and Misty Metal. Three quarters and a half of the margins. 58.07. Parnham was able to control the pace of the event there, leading easily with Indian Pacific and uh, then reeling off a 33.98 last 600 there. Went for home, had a margin on Caracapo shortly after straightening. Why choose her really lifting and uh, running on powerfully down the outside, but only getting within about a length of three quarters of the winner, Indian Pacific, who's by Zoo Star from Rose Arena for Nevin, Carolyn Parnham, Bob Pearson, also, Billy Biggs and Santo Waliato along also with Graham Webster Sr. Trained by Neville Parnham, Chris Parnham there aboard the winner. Why choose her? Continues a frustrating run in these feature races for Ash Maley. So close, but yet so far with a number of them in recent times. Lucy Warwick aboard the Schwarzier, Little Wonder Wymere. And in third placing was number four, Cara Carpo by Husson from Smites' Rose, Jim Taylor and Jason Brown. The next today, the running of the Group 2 Tab Touch Perth Cup at 4.50. Paul Harvey rides number three, Princess Jenny. No scratchings to come in the feature race this afternoon. Let's uh, go down now to Brittany Taylor, about to join uh, Neville Parnham here as uh, Nev just encourages uh, father-in-law and part owner, former great rider Graham Webster Sr. across there to be one of the two uh, co-owners to lead the horse back along with Santo Waliado. In the meantime... Nifty Nev is down there with Brittany Taylor. Oh, it is great to see him in the ownership too, isn't it? And he certainly picked a good one for him too, Indian Pacific. It looked his race to lose, Nev, but uh, he was obviously very impressive. Yeah, he was. You know, he uh, certainly made him earn, earn the win today, but uh, he's very speedy and he's just too good on the day and he got in OK in the weights, but... Um, uh, yeah, no, he's, he's a pretty promising horse. Were you always confident in the run? Yes, I was, yeah. I, even though he was getting pressured before the corner, I, I still thought, looking, at, looking back through the rest of them, I thought they were going to have to be good to run him down because by that time he'd sort of reached his top and uh, I knew he'd keep running today. You took the winkers off today. They were only on for that one start in the winter bottom. Where are you sitting on the use of shades and winkers and headgear going forward? Uh, I think we'll just leave him alone. He sort of... He's a free-running horse, and, um, yeah, for the time being, anyway, we'll just leave him alone, and hopefully we can keep on winning away. What's next for him? Uh, good question. You know, I mean, there is the Miss Andretti and the uh, Scenic Blast, but um, I've always been keen to sort of send him over east. But whether he's too deep into a prep or not, I'll have to have some thinks on that. Mm. All right, well, looking forward to seeing how, what you do with that decision. Well done.
You got it. Thank you. Neville Parnham, the trainer of Indian Pacific, who also has the two pronged attack in the next, the Perth Cup. But right now, Scott's catching up with Chris Parnham. I sure am, Chris. You're no stranger to being in front over the 1,000 metres here at Ascot so far this season. Talk to us about the speed that you're able to set today. Uh, look, he, he bounced out really, really good, and um, he got across easy enough, and then tried to get a bit of a breather sort of after passing 800, and um, just got a little bit of pressure before the corner, but uh, he kicked really strong, and he got a little bit tired late, but he hasn't raced for about five weeks, so uh, it, was a, yeah, it was a good effort. Improvement to come from that? Yeah, well, I don't really know where he goes to from here, but um, yeah, he, he definitely, he will improve fitness-wise from that run. Even though he's getting tired late, did he always feel like the winner? Um, I did when I was sort of first straightened up, but at, at the 100, I was really looking for the post. What about in the next Nerf boss pick up the ride from Brad, like this one was as well? What sort of chance to give him? Um, he's obviously a good chance. He's drawn a good barrier to get a good run, so um, if we can beat the favourite, I think we can win. Hopefully it's been around 20 year, 21 years between wins for Neville Parnham. Good luck to you, Chris. Thank you. Chris Parnham there winning on Indian Pacific, rides a Nerf Bosk for his father in the next. The Tab Touch Perth Cup set to jump at 4.50. Sky Thoroughbred Central, it's off to a break, but don't go anywhere because the 2021 Perth Cup coming up after this.